Hi, I'm Rebecca Haynes and my new exhibit, Color Me Curious, opens on May 24th at Pippin Contemporary in Santa Fe. I am continuing my exploration um, and love of the wild ones and trying to bring their spirits and their mystery into our world, which we need so desperately right now. Um, the title, Color Me Curious, I suppose was inspired um, by my love of color. Uh, I am doing a little more experimenting with different color combinations and palettes um, and seeing what those elicit. And the curious part, most all of the animals that I paint um, just have an inquisitive expression in their eyes. And I always think that's a reflection of me looking out at the world and trying to figure out what it all means. And so the title seemed uh, to fit. Um, I was looking at the work I did last year for my show versus this year to see what has changed or, or altered at all. And I am still playing with different color combinations and different formal aspects like composition, using line in a different way. Um, but the thing that really stuck out to me was the, the, the animals this year. In past years, I think there have been very individual animals and, and that kind of thing, but they almost felt more like archetypal maybe. And the creatures in this show when I look at the pieces in my studio, they, they look um, more indi like individual beings. Um, they look like their character goes deeper uh, as opposed to um, just the shape of a bear or the shape of a coyote. Um, they seem like they, just their personalities have deepened uh, somewhat is what comes out to me. Um, I've also noticed this year um, that the selection of creatures has altered just a little bit. Um, I'm doing a lot more bears and I have learned uh, in the past that to some native traditions, bears are the strongest healers and protectors. And so I don't know if that's why people are responding to them in that way. Maybe we need more of that right now. Um, but bears have definitely shown up more and also wolves have, have been uh, coming out more. I, I'm more of a, a trickster coyote girl personally um, and so I've usually done more coyotes uh, but this last year uh, a wolf up in Wyoming in Jackson Hole where I'm from Wyoming but uh, a wolf spitfire um, she was a mom and she she was killed and there have been other wolves that venture a little bit out of the protected zone and you know trophy hunters have killed them and and so I responded to, to her and did a wolf and then people have also been you know responding stronger to that um, and then there's one new creature in my show this year which is a badger it's my very first badger so those have been the things that have changed a little bit I think from last year otherwise the love of the creatures is the same and deepening I love line and, and scribbling and, and playing with how far I can push things um, and still have it work and I hope that you all, anybody in the near vicinity, will come to the show. Um, I'm very excited to see them all hung together. And I appreciate your continued support and following me along. It means a lot. So, thank you.